Okay, figure shows a displacement time graph of an oscillating ball given the maximum velocity is 3.2 meter per second. Determine the velocity uh, of the ball when its acceleration is 3 meter per second square. Okay, uh, so what graph is this? First of all, we must identify what graph is this. This is a displacement time graph. So you must check what graph is this. This displacement time graph. Okay, be careful. Yeah, or sometimes we write as a x t lah. Uh, yeah, displacement graph. And uh, the unit is meter second. Okay lah. Uh, SI uh, important thing all in SI unit. Ah, uh, now. Uh, I give us a maximum velocity. Uh, this is Vmax. Okay, this is Vmax. Uh, we know that Vmax is A omega, amplitude times omega, isn't it? Uh, from here, we can find amplitude, period, omega. Yeah, that's, that's it. Maximum velocity. Yeah, and then um, find the velocity. Uh, we need to find velocity. When acceleration is equal to 3 meter per second square. Wow. So, do we have a, a formula relating between velocity and acceleration? Do we have that formula? No, we only have uh, uh, acceleration with displacement. We don't have acceleration with velocity. Yeah, we have velocity displacement, acceleration displacement. There's no velocity acceleration equation, yeah? Uh, we also have the displacement time, velocity time, and acceleration time equation. So it seems that uh, we cannot relate velocity directly to acceleration. So there must be other way. And he gives us this displacement time equa displacement time graph. So, uh, so if uh, that way, we need to build equations. Uh, yeah, because it gives us this graph, you see displacement time graph. We need to build equation for displacement time equation. After we got displacement time equation, yeah, we, after we got the displacement time equation, uh, that, uh, equation, uh, then we can find the velocity time equation by, you know, di uh, differentiate, differentiate the displacement. And also we can find acceleration time equation uh, from uh, the previous equation. Uh, so from there we what we do is uh, we use this velocity time and acceleration time equations uh, we, we, we give us the acceleration value we find the time we find the time and then use the time to find velocity I use the time to find velocity and that's our strategy and say not so this displacement time equa graph is for us to find the displacement time equation and I said uh, let's find out the equation uh, for displacement time. So, uh, displacement time equations, uh, the time the time axis gives us the period. Ah, this is the period. This uh, uh, one wavelength is this one. Uh, from here, going up, uh, go, uh, going back to original position. Uh, this is considered as a period. Uh, this is a period. And the unit is second. Uh, so, the period is considered as for second. Uh, and then, do we have the amplitude? No, we don't have the amplitude value. Yeah? So, we don't have the amplitude. Uh, this the at this amplitude and this negative amplitude, but we don't have the value there. So, that one amplitude we can find from the maximum velocity. Uh, you know, the maximum velocity. This one, the maximum velocity. Uh, so, we can find amplitude there. Uh, so, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So our V max is uh, three point two meter per second. So SI unit, no problem. Eh? It's all SI unit. And a V max is a omega. Uh, okay. Uh, we need to find omega first. Omega is what? What is omega? Omega is uh, two pi over. Uh, let's find the omega first. Yeah. So period, we can find omega. Omega is 2 pi over period. Uh, 2 pi over period, so it's 2 pi over 4 second. 4 second. So what do we get? Uh, so this is, uh, we consider it's uh, divided by 4. So it's uh, 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 pi. Lah, 0 0.5 pi. 
uh, omega is 0 0.5 pi radian per second uh, we got the omega so once we got omega we can put it here omega is 0 0.5 pi and 3.2 so it is our amplitude our amplitude is uh, 3.2 um, divided by 0.5 pi which is uh, um, yeah it is 2.0 uh, 0.372 uh, I think this that's enough lah. 0 0.37 uh, 0 0 uh, 2.0 meter uh, okay that's our amplitude okay, just put it over here a little bit uh, so we can say that uh, this amplitude is uh, 2.03 meter uh, yeah this one is negative uh, you know negative 2.037 meter ah uh, this is our amplitude so now we need to build equation first for displacement time we build equation displacement time then we can find the uh, velocity time acceleration time equation uh, for the following process okay that's the function of graph graph can help us to find uh, graph can help us to find the equation Understand? Graph can help us to find the equation. Uh, so this is a displacement time equation, or sometimes write as xt. Same same thing uh, So we can find the displacement time equations. Uh, so um, uh, okay, can write as um, uh, you know you want to uh, use x uh, displacement xt graph. Yeah, xt graph displacement time xt graph. So the equation is uh, what's the formula for this one this is a sine graph you see that sometimes you give a cost graph uh, sometimes you give a sine graph this is a, a sine graph uh, a sine graph because uh, go up go down and back to original so this is a sine graph so the formula is a sine uh, sine because it's a sine graph so a sine omega e uh, okay so and then what's the amplitude amplitude is 2.037 meter yeah? is in meter unit in meter and then sine what is our omega omega is uh, 0 0.5 pi uh, our omega is 0 0.5 pi and then multiply t uh, that's our that's our displacement time equations. Uh, that's our displacement time equations. And uh, now we need to find the velocity time equations. Differentiate. So how to find the velocity time equations? We differentiate. So velocity is dx over dt. Uh, differentiate. Differentiate it. How? Differentiate. First we differentiate outside. And then we differentiate inside, understand? Uh, differentiate outside. So differentiate outside, we get, um, you know, uh, uh, 2.037 uh, differentiate outside. Uh, differentiate sign get cos, isn't it? Differentiate sign get cos. Uh, differentiate sign get cos. And then rewrite the whole thing inside. And uh, now differentiate inside. Differentiate inside, we get the t disappear, we get 0 0.5 pi. Ah, okay. And then uh, we get what? So this one go multiply to the front. Multiply to the front and what we do we get? Uh, 2.037 multiply 0.5 pi. Uh, we get this is a 3 point, sorry. Um, it is a uh, 3.1997, uh, 3.2 lah. Uh, it's 3.2, uh, you know, 3.2 cosine uh, 0 0.5 pi t. Okay, that's our velocity equation, uh, velocity time. Now we want to find what? Acceleration time. Acceleration time. Uh, so acceleration we differentiate from velocity 
understand? We differentiate our velocity. Okay. Uh, because it gives us acceleration value. So, need a, a lot of works. Yeah. Uh, differentiate from velocity, we get acceleration. So, first we differentiate outside, then we differentiate inside. Understand? Uh, differentiate outside, we get what? Differentiate cos, we get negative sine. Differentiate cos, we get negative sine. We get negative uh, sine. Differentiate cos, we get negative sine. Uh, this 3.2, just rewrite. Differentiate cos, we get negative sine. And then rewrite the things inside. And then differentiate inside. Uh, we get the 0 0.5 pi. The t just disappear. Uh, and then this one just multiply to the front. Okay. And uh, finally, what's the answer? Uh, negative 3.2 multiply 0.5 pi. Oops, what is this? Uh, again, 3.2 multiply 0.5 pi. Uh, it is uh, negative uh, 5.0. Two, uh, two seven. That's it, lah. Two seven, zero point two seven. Okay. Um, sine uh, zero point five pi p. Okay, that's acceleration. Uh, acceleration. So, uh, we what do we do now? We can find acceleration value. Acceleration value. Uh, okay. No, it gives us the acceleration value. We find the time. Uh, we find the time and then from the time we can use the velocity time equation to find velocity isn't it that's our target right uh, so we're going to use these two formula to solve our questions these two formula uh, so just put in our time here no no put in our acceleration value acceleration value is three okay acceleration value is three um okay three that's uh, three Okay, it is a negative 5.027 sine uh, 0 0.5 pi t. Okay, what is our time for this? Let's find out. 3 divided by negative 5.027. Okay, and then uh, empty sign answer. Okay, and then uh, divide by 0.5 pi. 0.5 pi. So, uh, the time is okay. One thing, ah, uh, before you do, ah, uh, always check your calculator. This one must be in radian. Have you changed your calculator into radian? Because this is pi. You see that it is pi, so it's radian, not degree, ah. Uh. Don't put degree. Uh, don't put degree. Many. Students make a common mistake, they put degree. Yeah, didn't change the calculator into radian. So I got my time is uh you know negative, but this uh negative uh, 0 0.4071. So this one is a little bit I don't think it's uh acceleration is three. Actually, acceleration should be negative three, lah. Yeah? Uh actually, never mind. We carry carry on. Yeah, we do, impossible to have a negative time. Impossible to have a negative time. Huh? This one acceleration should be what I suggest. I think that the question got wrong. I think this one should be acceleration negative three. Supposed to be, yeah? Yeah. Acceleration should be uh, negative three. I I think should be negative three. So this this uh, value you impossible to have a negative time, huh? It's like time moving backwards. Impossible. So this one should be a, have a negative negative value so let's calculate again so negative 3 divided by negative uh you know uh, uh, 5.027 and then uh, empty sign empty sign the answer and then uh, divide by 0.5 pi again yeah so actually it should be uh you get a positive value later on yeah impossible to have a negative value so should have a positive value huh, for the time so okay you got the time already then you use back the the equation for velocity time to get the velocity okay 
so from here okay so we got the time already okay so we substitute the time equal to uh, 0 0.4071 second and see the answer so velocity equal to 3.2 cosine uh, you know 0 0.5 pi uh, the time is what the time i got just now is this one uh, multiply 0 0.4071 okay so what's the velocity let's calculate uh 0.5 pi multiply 0.4071 okay um and then uh cosine answer okay and then multiply 3.2 so the answer is the answer is 2.5 7 2.57 uh, meter per second that's the answer is that an answer correct yes that's correct so the answer is this one so that's the answer okay 2.57 percent so um okay what i can say is um uh this uh, acceleration should be a negative value yeah so this is uh what i can say is uh, wrong yeah you should uh, this acceleration should be a negative should be a negative yeah not not positive value eh? should be a negative acceleration uh, then you got the then you got the correct answer okay uh, so how, that's how we do solve these questions uh, okay so the graph is help is to help us to find the equations and from the equation of displacement we differentiate differentiate find the velocity time acceleration time equations and then once we got we got their equation already we just substitute the acceleration value acceleration value to find the time the time at that acceleration and then we use that time to find the velocity at that time uh, to find velocity at that time and that's the 2.57 is the final answer okay uh, so that's all for these questions i hope you enjoy and like yeah thank you bye